Bang, and we're back. Welcome to a new episode, episode number two of uh, Living in the Drain Pipe, your favorite tropical island podcast. to living in the drain pipe. Well, I already said that, but I might say it again because you gotta spread the word, boys and girls. This is a beautiful morning in the island of Nusalem Bongan, and I hope I set this up correctly again. Man, sorry about that. Always the stupid technical stuff, right? Maybe I can even turn the microphone up a little bit. I'm just coming a bit closer right now. Okay, here we go. That was the Tropical Island Podcast jingle, Living in a Jam Pipe. Okay, guys, um, let's get to it. So, um, I put one episode out already, and uh, you can't believe it. The, the, it's so well received. And um, just, I don't want to brag, but I got a few comments here, and... Um, just before we start with anything, I just want to like to like read some of the comments. Uh, what we have here, Little Dick Twenty Four. What a name is! What kind of name is that? Why would you call yourself Little Dick Twenty Four? What is that? Like twenty four millimeters or t- well centimeters? That would be alright. But uh, twenty four years old. Who knows? Anyways, Little Dick Twenty Four says, "Hey, George." So enjoyed your new podcast. It's definitely the best podcast I have heard in a while. Um, I really like how you just keep going with the flow. And also you sound super sexy. And Hey, wait a minute. Does he say that? Sound super sexy. What's wrong with that guy? Well, maybe it's a girl, huh? And she likes little dicks. I don't know. Anyways. Cool. Yeah, thanks, man. Next one. Let's see what we got here. Bambalahuna. Bambalahuna24. Five seven seven eight nine. What? What's up with these weird names? You know, just call yourself like Danny one two three or whatever. Like, anyways, Bambalauna says, um, "Dude, what's up? Like, what are you talking about? I uh, was listening to your podcast and um, I was getting confused because you change your topics like all the time." But I really enjoyed it and uh, really what's going on with your brain and what's especially what's wrong with your brain. Well, thank you. Is that a compliment? Well, anyways, um, yeah, cool. Let's uh, do <laughs> not this one. This one, no, not that one. Um, what we got here, what we got here. Let me see. Oh, Dive Surf Sing George. Oh, cool. This guy's named George as well. Um, that guy, where's the... Can't open it. Let me see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Dude, first of all, love that we have the same name. Second of all, love the podcast. My favorite podcast on the whole podcast universe. Uh, it's hilarious. You are definitely onto something here. Please keep going. Biggest love, George. Yeah, I like that one. Cool. Awesome. Guys, I told you about my back pain the other day. It's feeling better. Still not gone, but already better. Still bitching about it, though. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yesterday, I (laughs) tried to upload the first episode of the podcast. And, man, you should know I'm super shit when it comes to technology. Um, I'm 34 years old and I'm lost in the ether already like this. I mean, I grew up before iPhones and then I don't know when the iPhones come out. Some like 2000 something, eh? 2000, I, see, I didn't even know. Um, and uh, what I want to say, oh yeah, super shit with that stuff. So 
I um, got my old laptop, which is not even mine, which I borrowed from a friend, Darren. Thanks for that, by the way, because without any laptop, I couldn't record anything here. Um, so went to my other friend's place where I can use the Wi-Fi because I don't have Wi-Fi in my spl in my place here because it is a small island and not every place is Wi-Fi. And now all of you go, oh my God, could never live there. It was uh, no Wi-Fi. And uh, how am I going to watch all the porn? And yeah, well, you just like buy data and then you watch the porn. Uh, you go somewhere, you download it. <laughs> old school and you don't watch it live stream or whatever um anyways oh man like who watches porn still anyways that, uh, so lame no like it's, it's i just find it boring anyways um but that's a whole different topic no let's go back to that later um anyways go to my other friend's place to use the wi-fi um which is outside of her bungalow like a little kitchen area piera thanks for that um i know you're going to listen to this so uh, thanks for letting me use your wi-fi there in the kitchen area it's kind of hilarious though because it's because of corona nobody like uses it or cleans it, it used to be a restaurant there and it's just like <laughs> it's just dirty and spider webs everywhere gecko shit and um whatnot so um, I'm sitting there and it's just all dusty, put my laptop and everything up and right next to me is just like this biggest spider web and this dead giant spider just ugh, hanging around there. Anyways, but um, well, good to to have the option of the fast Wi-Fi, what, what we call fast for the island, I would say. Um, also right next to the ocean, so while I'm like trying to upload shit, I can check the waves. But uh, it's flat at the moment, fucking flat, which is perfect because I'm not surfing anyways. So um, all the other guys also don't get to surf. Oh, that's tiny waves, but yeah, you know. Um, so trying to upload the the podcast and yeah, I'm so shit with technology. Like I'm okay, I'm going to create a YouTube account because I don't have one yet. And do that create like oh, no i have to like create another google account first or whatever and because i'm so shit at technology because i don't use this stuff often i don't use it often that's why i'm shit and then when i use it it takes so much time for me to do anything because i'm shit and of course if you don't do much like you're always lost so quickly because everything like updates like every 20 minutes you know and then there's a new thing of this and a new thing of that um man so it took me like um, hours to try to to fix uh, to set everything up and and get everything just to get the, the the picture and the video like you know because I just have audio file and and that didn't even work and I was there for like six hours or something man that sucks but anyways you know nothing about it because you just have the finished product on your YouTube and why would you give a shit and that is very fair uh, there's a cool thing that happened yesterday I think it was um, because I started the Instagram living in the drain pipe save that account I don't know if I mentioned that already you guys check it out just follow that as well because I'm always gonna when I put a new episode on YouTube I'm always gonna put a post out on that Instagram page as a reminder um, with a little thing of uh, maybe what's going to be in the new episode like a little uh, teaser or something and for this episode you will see that the Instagram um, that the Instagram man I think I can turn the volume up on this a little bit I think maybe now oh hey Flo what's going on Hey baby, what's up? Don't sit on, no, 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 don't sit on there. Okay, that's cool. Um, so, ah, uh, what I wanna say? Oh yeah, so uh, you maybe noticed that there is a little, uh, that the photo I put up on Instagram is, uh, what's it called? Something sexy, kitty, like it's a, it's the, 
the account from a, a titty page. Yeah, like a titty account. Because I started this, the Instagram, and for some weird reason, I had already one follower. No, no, I was sorry. For some weird reason, I was already following one person. But um, when I clicked on, why am I following this person? I didn't know why. Like, and then I clicked on following, but it wouldn't show me any accounts. So that was just the number one where it says following. But when I click on it, nothing empty. So it's like, yeah, maybe it's just a bug or whatever. It's like, if, if I'm not following anybody, who cares? Anyways, I tell my wife about it. Like, hey, the account is, I put the account up already, tell a few friends. So I follow a few of my friends already with this account. And then uh, my wife messages <laughs> me, I think yesterday morning or whatever. Um, yeah, check this out. Why are you following this person? And she sends me a screenshot of the, p the list of who I'm following. And there is this, yeah, fuck, I don't know what it's called. No, well, just check it on Instagram. This titty account that I'm following apparently. And I'm like, no, what do you mean? Like, and she's like, why are you following this? And I'm like, uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, oops. Um, no, but so when I click on mine, I can't see it still. And uh, she shows me though that this titty account that I'm following, like is a complete thing. It's just like photos of half naked women in there. I was like, all right. But then I just go like search for this account, click on it, find it, click on it. And to me, it even shows like it's an empty account, just like zero posts, zero followers, zero following. So like, what's going on? So I, and it shows that I'm not following this account. So I can't even unfollow this account, even though I'm following it, but uh, it doesn't show me I'm following, but everybody else sees that I'm following this account. So, and I'm like, yeah, well, it's like, you see, you know, like, I'm like, what, am I in trouble here? Or what? Like, I'm not doing anything. So leave me alone. Okay. Wow. That was a beautiful echo in you just now. Anyways. Yeah. Um, but like, no, it's like my wife's cool. She doesn't give me shit about it because, um, but whatever, like I have told her before, I sometimes look at titties and, um, but like, you don't want to, nah, like more ass actually, you want to look at ass, but then like whenever you look for this stuff, it's just so lame. I think on like any plus because it's just like, ugh, it's just boring. I find it really boring to, to, to find, uh, any of this stuff. And, um, so, but I, anyways, I told her that before she knows that and, um, but I really find it boring anyway, so uh, <laughs> wink, wink, no. Um, because why would you, if you have somebody there that you can bang all day and have more fun with that, right? Cool. Yeah, so oh yeah, then I just, I could still block this account though. And by blocking this account, um, I stopped following it or whatever and it worked out. Cool. Guys, let me know in the comments below. No, don't let me know anything in the comments below. I'm not going to read it anyways. Um, cool. But hey, you can direct message me like on the Instagram account if you want to say something. And maybe I'm going to read it uh, if I feel like it, you know. So yeah, follow this account and keep updated. And then also the whole YouTube thing. If you want subscribe or, or like or whatever people do, but like, why do people even say that? Anybody wants that anyways, right? But I don't even care. Just like listen to it. Like just that's good enough for me. And if you do want to do the other stuff, do it. Cool. Um, so yeah, hey guys, let's, I hope you like the jingle of um, the podcast. Um, yeah. That I enjoyed that one actually. So we'll see what jingle comes tomorrow. Cause the jingle is, um, sort of two years ago, we already had an idea for the jingle, but I don't even know what I want to say. I don't know. I don't even want to talk about the jingle right now. Why am I saying this? Ah, doesn't matter. Different topic then. So 
here's the thing. The reason why I'm so confused sometimes, sounds so confused, is because there's no script. There is no preparation for this. Yeah. It's all supposed to be just one continuous flow of bullshit that just like comes out of my mouth. So um, always to think of something new, like sometimes you just have to keep talking to bridge from one topic to another. And that's probably the most challenging thing about this podcast. But I was just thinking, man, it's so cool actually to do a podcast only by myself because I'm just lying on my bed, just like half naked, chilling. You know, I don't have to worry about, uh, ah, somebody's going to come after the interview, I have to set up this, that. No, I can just like chill and do whatever. And even if my wifey comes and joins me, then we can just do that together. And that'd be really fun as well, I think. Gonna hook up with her on the weekend again. And then finally, man, I haven't seen her for like 10, 11 days now already, which is really long for us because we just spend so much time with each other. Um, so we can't wait because you know what's going on. Yeah, you know, you know, guys. If you're touching yourself already, stop. Ah, fuck it. Just do whatever you want. Like you can do on my podcast. People can do whatever they want. And uh, I think that's general, like a good rule for life. You can just do whatever you want. You just deal with the consequences afterwards, right? Okay, segueing to the next topic. Oh yeah, like um, thank you to our sponsors. This episode is sponsored by um, a rock that I have on the table and um, an empty bottle of mouthwash. If you ever need a rock on the table, get one. And if you ever need an empty bottle of mouthwash, Because you can refill it, you can put like new mouthwash in there, you can wash it out, put like soap in there, you can, man, the empty bottles are amazing, you know, you can do so much with empty bottles, you can fill them and empty them again and it's, I'm going with this shit, man, please stick with me, I think, I have this feeling it's gonna get better from now on. You know, um, yesterday was another day when my dogs were annoying me again. Oh my God. I don't know how to teach them to get on the bike properly. I think the only problem is just that my wife needs to come back and then we, uh, we can use two bikes and one dog goes on each bike again. I don't have to have two dogs on the same bike because they just don't fucking get it. Ida is just so like... Oh my god, I need to ride on the bike, I want to ride on the bike, I want to ride on the bike. And Flo's just like, ah, what's going on, why, why is she so pushy? Because Ida is really fighting for her spot here. Flo was the one that I had first. And now we have Ida as well, because it's a friend's uh, dog and she had to go back to England because of Corona. And of course, it's almost impossible to to take a dog out of out of Bali. Um, I don't know if it's actually possible, but even if it was like, it wouldn't be nice for the animal at all. The whole thing you had to go through and plus the quarantine or whatever. Um, well, they have to quarantine, uh, not because of Corona, but because they're dogs. That's a whole different thing. Um, anyway, so, and Ida is just like, she's just so like, she just wants to be on the bike. She just, that's the whole purpose. It doesn't matter whether it's comfortable or not. So every time she, I need to have Flo on the bike first though, usually that makes it easier. And then Ida comes on because Flo sits down and then Ida stands behind her. But Ida just jumps on the bike. Like as soon as I get on to just make sure I am going to be on the bike. And then Flo is just like, well, I don't give a shit. I'm the alpha male here. And just like squeezes herself underneath. And then you have like just a pile of dogs on the bike, which yeah, how are you gonna drive with that? Like they literally, you start driving and just wobbling around, almost falling off, and then you try to fix that for like five minutes because they just don't wanna listen. Mm. Okay, I'm looking at um, uh, not a, a picture. Well, it's like a, a picture on a sarong actually, which we have on the wall here. 
which is of Ganesh. Ganesha? Ganesh? Ganesh? You know, guys, that Indian motherfucker that is um, a um, um, elephant dude, yeah? Like a dude with an elephant head. And <laughs> I asked my wife, hey, what's up with the elephant head? You know, why does he have an elephant head? And she told me the story, um, which I'm going to tell you now. Well, so, what was the story again? Oh, yeah, yeah, so, the dude, like, uh, who has the elephant head now, he was like a normal god or whatever. But, I mean, in India, the gods look like people, sort of like people, I guess, you know? But, um... It's like a normal dude and his father, who is, I can't remember what his name is, but grumpy motherfucker, apparently. Like, he leaves to do godly stuff um, for, like, years. And his wife gives birth to the son, but um, so the father has never met the son. But what a great guy, by the way. What a great guy, you know? Just like, hey, you're pregnant. I'm going to get some cigarettes. And 30 years later... Um, he comes back, the son, oh, I don't know if it's 30 years, actually, oh, yeah, like many years later, and the son is already grown, so he has never seen the son, and, um, and uh, apparently they didn't have any iPhones, or the, any communication through distance, because they're, but they're gods, you know, I, you would assume they can do shit, you know, you can bring people back to life or something, but uh, you can't um, just, like, send a message, yeah, anyways, so, the guy comes back, the dad comes back, and because uh, Ganesh, the dude, is like still with his uh, human head, just a normal dude, guarding the, the place where, his, he, where he lives, he's in front of the gate or something. His dad comes back and goes like, hey, I want to go inside. Um, and he goes, no, you don't. Because I'm the gatekeeper and I don't want you in there because I don't know you. And the dad says, well, I don't know you, so you better let me in. And he says, no, I don't think so. And then the dad just cuts off his head. Isn't that a bit like, what's going on? Isn't that a bit uh, over the top? Like, why don't you just go like, hey, um, well, my wife lives in there and I used to live here. And also, I uh, 30 years ago when I left... I, uh, she was pregnant and so now there should be a 30 year old person here which uh, could be you so are you my son and he goes daddy no but they didn't do any of that at all he just like cut his head off and then his wife comes out and goes like motherfucker why this is your son what are you doing it's like ah dang uh why the She's like, oh, fuck, like, you know, what, like, you fucked up, you know, you come back, and the first thing is you do, you killed your son, and, you know, your wife is probably not going to appreciate that, you know, anyway, so then he's like, ah, oh, well, I got an idea, because I'm a god, I'm such a great god, so I'm going to cut the head of an elephant and put it on my son's head, uh, on my son's body, and that's how it happened apparently so i've just like a few questions about that first of all why the fuck did you kill an elephant like now there's a headless elephant somewhere you're gonna put a different head on the elephant or you just don't give a shit even if you don't give a shit you're just like fuck it i'm gonna take an elephant head isn't that i mean how big is that god is it a baby elephant because like an elephant head on the human body that would be like fucking massive um, so, even if you take a baby elephant, it would still be massive on you, but maybe, I mean, maybe the gods are, like, big or something, bigger, maybe it's, like, elephant-sized anyways, but the main uh, question that I, have, that I have is, if you have the power to put an elephant head on a human body, and he comes back to life, and and it works, why don't you just put his real head back on his body? Wouldn't that be better? Or like easier or whatever? I mean, the real head would be right there still, no? Yeah, I don't know. But hey, who knows? Like Indian gods, you know, they 
I do whatever the fuck they want, you know? What's the other one? With the blue? Blue dude? Like the Smurf? Smurf and the arms? Smurfy six arms or something? What's this guy do? That's Shiva, I think. No? And they can all shape shift and stuff like that. You know, like all the yogi dudes are like, Yo, George, you're talking such bullshit. And please, in the comments below, uh, whatever. Um, write what you don't like about Indian dogs and Indian, dog, in Indian gods in the comments below. And what you do like about them. And then I'm not going to read it. But still. Um, cool. Yeah, anyways, Ganesh is on our wall here. <clears throat> so um, while I'm fucking, I can look at a person with a with a with a elephant head. And interestingly, the eyes of Ganesh on our picture here are very feminine and intriguing. Very long eyelashes. Mmm, Ganesh, you dirty motherfucker! What are you trying to do to me? Mmm, penetrating looks. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, today is a nice day. I haven't been outside yet, but it sounds pretty cool out there. There's like birds and all that stuff going on. Just as you would expect in the jungle on a little tropical island. Um, yeah. So, um, I was going to actually look something up. Uh, to talk to you about because um, I was gonna oh no 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 that's what I wanted to talk about um, so so the whole stand up comedy thing that I'm trying to do like so I was thinking maybe I'm gonna promote a few stand up uh, comedians on here as well like talk about some of the stuff that I like um just so, why am I always telling you what I'm going to do? Why don't I just talk about what I'm going to do? I guess so that you know what's going to come up in the future podcast. And also that I have time to think of what I'm going to say next. So I'm going to blah, blah, blah a little bit. Cool. Oh, yeah. I was watching this guy, Brian Regan. And maybe you know him, maybe you don't. But he's fucking hilarious. Um, it's, I don't know, it's one of these guys that has been doing stand-up comedy for many years already. I don't know, probably 30 or more. Um, and if you want to listen to something funny, YouTube, Brian Regan, Brian Regan, what's the name? Um, watching fishing on TV, fucking hilarious. And especially if you find the footage, um, where he's younger and tells the story is like, it's a bit that he does like when he's older as well. But like, I think the time I watched it when he was, he's still younger, looks like in his twenties or something so funny like the energy he puts into that and it's just about watching fishing on tv um which is i had no idea that that's even a thing that you can watch fishing on tv i'm actually gonna youtube fishing later that is, must be the most boring thing man mm. yeah so um oh yeah but i was gonna look something up because um there was something I was gonna talk about, but I really can't remember what it was. Oh, are you losing your listeners here, George? Um, what's going on? I think you can lose your shit. Oh yeah, because yesterday I was thinking. So my my wifey, my lovely wifey, yeah, is the most amazing person. But sometimes. <laughs> uh, she's hilarious it's so funny how she um how we whatsapp communicate with each other because there's always so much even sometimes i mean she's indonesian i'm german her english is good my english is good but still there's the way you say i say things in the way she says things says things is um is like a little bit like on the edge of sometimes you misunderstand i mean more than i probably would misunderstand with um with people whose native tongue is english right so just the way she says things and i love it that she says it the way but the miscommunication we sometimes have is really funny um so 
on especially when it comes to whatsapp and the cool thing what i realized about whatsapp is i always thought like oh, i rather prefer to talk to somebody in person than to just message because there's so many times you're like no i didn't mean it like this or you have to you know how you write something you just want to write it quick but then you're looking for the right emoji to put behind and you're just scrolling through for minutes and you're like oh this one with the with the tear no not with the tear drop and with the thing no nah, wait the smiling one no nah, but this one is smiling too much that's not exactly what i'm trying to say so you're spending like minutes on just trying to find the right emoji and eventually you just send her the eggplant and um <laughs> but because they can't that's actually what they did right because they can't put the a dick or or an ass into the emojis this is why they put the eggplant and the peach in there right because everybody has done that hey what are you doing i'm thinking about you sent the eggplant and then she's like oh yeah and then you're like oh man i wish you were here and you sent the peach and because everybody knows the peach looks like an ass so and i guess that's why they did it no and um have you ever then you send the peach and the eggplant and then you send the lips like next to the eggplant and then you send the eggplant with three water drops eventually all right um anyways so the where i was trying to talk about i oh, had yeah, the miscommunication and the emotions you get to have the emotions you get to have while you having while you whatsapping with somebody is different to the emotions you get to have when you're talking to somebody in person um, because you can react a certain way and the person you talk to doesn't know you reacted that way right i give you an example the other day well for two days my wifey like keeps asking me hey i want to buy this bra and because uh, she sends me photos of like different bras in different colors which colors do you like sends me one of like a selection and it's like red brown green blah blah, blah. and i go mm, well i like green on you so get the green one maybe but you already have a green one i understand so maybe um but i like green on you and she says, okay, I want the brown one. I like the brown one. I'm like, okay, first of all, if you already know what you want, um, then why do you ask me? If you like the brown one, just get the brown one. Anyway, so we talk about which one. And then she sends another photo of the brass and with like a little drawn arrow to a red one, which says they only have this one, this color. And I go, well, if they only have red anyways, why are you asking me which color I want on you? And she goes, um, oh, no, no, like this is a different selection. Like this is, they have this red one and the other selection of all the colors. And I'm like, okay, fine. So, but it, it's not even happening that quickly, you know, there's a lot of confusion going on forth and back first before she actually says that it's two different selections that I'm looking at here. And that one type has only the red and the other, other color. anyways. So getting like, okay, okay, keep calm. Because eventually I'm like, yeah, come on, let's just get the bra, you know, I mean, it's going to look good anyways, just get a nice bra. Okay, so then... I'm like, okay, you want to, and she says, I want to have two. And then, okay, green and which one? I'm like, okay, just take green and brown then. If you like green and um, if I like green, so you get this one and you want the brown one, just get the brown one. And then you have two and we're all happy. And that's one night. And then I don't need anything about it. Then the next day in the afternoon or something, she messages again about like, so um, the green one and which one? I'm just like, and there's a moment where I'm just like shouting. <laughs> just buy the fucking bra you know and and i was laughing afterwards so hard because all i sent back was yep the green one yes sure or something you know because it was so funny that she didn't see that reaction of me because if you react in front of somebody like that they're gonna be like what the fuck's the problem man you get into a fight and you start arguing and you split up and you like you just like your mother and then you know you leave all the problem 
deployments that you have, you know? And uh, you, oh, actually, but then you get to have makeup sex as well. And mm, mm, so maybe I should react. Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, it's really cool now that you just can just lash out and then just go, sure. You know, nobody ever sees that reaction. Yeah, anyways, I thought that'd be maybe a cool thing to talk about. But, oh man, today my I haven't woken up really yet. Like, I think my head is really slow at the moment. And I'm trying to find topics that I can talk about. Oh yeah, so the other day... <laughs> Um, well, I'm saying the other day, but it's probably like a few months ago already. I was recording music and um, I kind of felt like just try out something new. So I set up all my equipment in the garden and to try to get like background noises of um, birds and, and whatever you have. I thought that'd be really cool to have this in the song as long as it's not too loud, you know, just like in the background, that'd be really cool. Because uh, I was listening to the song that inspired me, which is a really cool song. I think it's called um, I Wish I Could Sleep. And uh, I can't remember what the artist is <laughs> so good at promoting things. Uh, Wish I Could Sleep is like a chill hop song. I don't know if you know that genre. Chill hop is like a cool, like. <laughs> Like sort of like these these chill out beats, and then they sometimes have like piano or like cool sounding guitar, or whatever. And it's usually most of the time, it's um, it is no vocals or maybe just like words thrown in something. Listening to the song, it's just like a minute thirty long or minute fifty, and I just put on repeat. And I feel like inspired by the song, so I just keep listening, 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 and then I have an idea, um, and I sort of start singing over the top of the song. And I'm outside and um, and my wife has the doors open to the room and is sitting inside on the bed on her computer. <coughs> While I'm listening to the song, at one point, I hear, because I'm starting to, to go through lyrics in my head to put into a song that I want to write, but I'm just singing it over this song because I like this tune. And at one point, I hear like, like in the background, somebody yelling, come on, come on, come on, like that. And it, it sounds so cool at this point where it's in the song. Like it sounds so cool to the tune and it like fits really well. And I'm thinking, wow, that's really cool. I want to put that into the song, like uh, her, her shouting that. So, oh yeah, actually I just remembered. I was on mushrooms as well. Just like, yeah. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> true. <coughs> well, just a few, I think. <coughs> Wasn't like a, a massive, like flying to the moon thing or something. Anyway, so I, I um, hear this come on in the background. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. So I walk over because. I know that she earlier had problems, something, some problems with her laptop or something was going on. So I thought she was getting upset about it in the background. S keeps yelling. I hear it in my song. I'm like, fuck, that's so cool. I want to use this. And I'm so grateful in that moment. So I take my headphones, I walk over to the room. I go inside. I'm like, hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's like, so, and she doesn't know what's going on. She's like, what, what are you talking about? I'm like, you're like yelling, like, come on, come on. That was so cool in the song. And like, thanks for that. I know you don't know anything about it, but thank you so much. That's like really cool. So I'm giving her a compliment there. And she goes like, oh yeah, no problem. No problem at all. You know, um, you're welcome. And it's like super like, you know, yeah, I got it. And you know, and here's the thing. So I ended up using it in the song, but then I actually threw it out again because I found something better to do. But women like compliments right a while later i notice like weeks later i'm listening to this song again and she's not even there yet. so i'm listening to the song again and i notice this come on is already in the song i was listening to it wasn't even her in the first place 
but I never noticed it before. So I thought it was her in the background, but it's always been in that song already. And this is how much women like compliments. She didn't even yell, come on. She just was like, all right, I'm going to take that compliment and not even tell you that I didn't do it at all. Amazing. Yeah. Fucking amazing. Oh, man. Uh, what am I going to do today? Nothing. Just going to chill. Chill. Well, there's not much to do here when you don't go diving or or surfing, I guess. This is why a lot of people get fucked up on the island often. Still trying to figure out to where I can do the stand-up comedy. If you're already on Lembongan, you maybe know the place uh, Agus Shipwrecks on the beach. It's um, nice, like right on the beach, um, like cool of bar restaurant thing. And I'm going to look into that. Ask to ask Agus about what he thinks about trying to do stand up. They have a little stage there. They have um, a nice space where people can sit, where people can put chairs and everything. That'd be cool. But the stage is kind of like in a shitty spot. So maybe I have to ask him if we can move it. And then you would have, I want to move it so the stage would be in front of the beach so that the audience would see basically the beach behind the stand-up comedian. And I think that would be really cool. I hope that doesn't distract too much from listening to the people and they're just not going to even watch the guy on stage and they're just going to look around, see what's going on, watch the sunset or whatever. But um, now, okay, like you do the stand-up comedy after sun, uh, you can't do stand-up during the day. I've heard of people doing that and man, like, I don't know. It's just like, it's just a nighttime activity, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it'd be really cool to do it there. And I think the guys would be keen because at the moment there's not much happening and I think they will be happy to do sort of anything. And also it would help him with his business, which is always cool to help the guys out to bring, get some money into the businesses here. Um, so, yeah, do that. Mm. The, <laughs> the other day, um, why do you see, it's always say the other day when something is like a long time ago already, but I noticed because we were in Bali and there's, when you drive through Bali which I'm sure a lot of you five people that will listen to the podcast have done this before. You know how the police always uh, is looking out for people that have no, have no helmets. They mainly look, they're often looking for bullies like Westerners, right? Um, because you don't, maybe they don't have a driver's license, which you legally have to have in this country, which most locals also don't have. Um, but you always have to wear a helmet. So they're checking for that. They want to pull you over. They want to get a bribe of you. They, you know, like, yeah, they just want to get some money in their pocket. And there's these two types of policemen here. There's the one guy that, that tries to get the bribe money. And there's the other guy that's actually working as a policeman. You drive from, from Seminyak to Changu. And there's these intersections and you know, there's these guys who like, man, the shittiest job ever. Sorry, but it's the policeman in Bali directing the traffic and he's on his whistle and it's like people just driving past him and it's just all in the fucking fumes from the cars and everything. And he always looks so miserable and you're just like, you know just keep going keep going like waving there and everybody, nobody gives a shit just like cruising around the way they want and that guy actually does his job and he doesn't get any bright money though because he's not there to stop you and get money so if you don't wear a helmet or anything or whatever now you have to wear a mask as well on the bike which makes so much sense to wear a bike and uh, mask on the bike and not in the road like and on the when you're just walking um anyway so he 
just just lets you go, but he directs the traffic. So this guy's actually working, but he doesn't get any bright money. Then there's the lazy motherfucker who actually gets all the money because there's these guys that just on the side you have like these little booths, uh, like little like little sheds or whatever you call it, like where's just a fat guy sitting on his chair, um, just waiting for somebody to stop at a red light and not make a left turn. Because in Bali, you have to, if the if you want to turn left, the light is red. By law, apparently, you still, you just go over the red light. You just go through. And these guys, so they're just waiting for somebody to stop with, an in, with by indic and indicate left. And then they look out, or you drive over the line a little bit. And then they get up from their fat, fat asses and slowly walk over and go like, hey, you just broke the law and you gotta have to give me money now. And they, <laughs> and I don't know what, if you have done this before, but I've done this many times where I see the fat guy coming over and then that him coming over reminds me, oh shit, yeah, I should turn left and just right before he's there, you just gun it, you know, you just and gone. And, or when you just like you have somebody on the back of the bike who's not wearing a helmet or maybe none of you is wearing a helmet and you go around the corner and the guy is just whistling at you, pointing at you and you're just like, sorry, I don't see you. And then you just go slowly past and because he doesn't have a bike, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? Run after you? No. He's just going to be like, okay, well, I'm just going to wait for the next dude, you know, that, that stops and then I'm going to get money off that guy. So... One time I actually pretended to not speak English. I was just driving out out of my place onto the road and it was just like I just wanted to go down like 200 meters to get breakfast. So I'm not putting the helmet up, but I have the helmet between my legs. I just drive down and literally I pull out and there's like two police guys on bikes. And I almost never see them on the bike. So I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, and they're behind me. So I'm like, just speeding up a little bit, trying to get rid of them. Not racing them, not racing them, but just trying to get like, oh, I didn't see you. I'm just going to speed up and disappear around the corner. But the guys follow me. And then they're like, go oh, yeah. So I drive faster. I quickly, like while I'm driving, put the helmet on. But they've already seen me without the helmet. So when they stop me, they're like, no, 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 no. You, I saw it, brother. <laughs> Uh, but for some reason, I don't know, and just in that moment, I was like, okay, I'm just going to pretend to not speak English. So they stopped me and he starts talking and I'm like, uh, um, uh, <laughs> just say stuff like, uh, uh, huh? uh, no, no English, no English, no, no, no English, no English. And the friend that I was with on the back of the bike, uh, is just saying nothing. <laughs> and I'm, and the guys are like two guys, yeah. One guy hands me this list they have printed out, which is just like, and then he points, okay, here there's like no helmet, one and a half million rupees, uh, like what, $150 or whatever. Uh, and and um, uh, what else? Did he want more? I think no helmet. And did he also ask for the driver's license, which I didn't have or something? So I think he wanted like 3 million rupees, like $300 or something. Which, and everybody knows this fucking list is just like made up. You don't have to pay this. You know, they just made it up. They print it out. So, and now it looks more official or whatever. And and people that don't know just maybe get scared. Ah, oh, it's the police. And then they pay this, right? But it's just ridiculous. <clears throat> because as soon as you give them cash, it's just for them. They know that. You know that. You know. So, I was like, fuck you. No way. I'm uh, going to play a little bit here. So... I'm just like, no, 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 um, no English, no English. And uh, one guy, it's like, I think he was suspicious. He's just like, he was thinking that I, that I can speak English. But he, he was like, you could see like, but he was just, he was the guy with the, um, there was one guy holding the list and then the other guy. The other guy was just like getting angrier, you know, like getting angry, like, because they're like, no, hey, my dad, I can try to explain. And I'm just always like doing like this, hmm, like pulling my shoulders up. Like, oh, I don't know, I don't understand anything. And then, where you live? Where are you living? Where are you living? And I just say stuff like, city, 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 city. And just point into random directions. Um, and while the, this guy is getting angrier, 
the other guy is going down with the price. So, <laughs> and uh, he's just like, okay, okay, two million, two million. And I'm just like, oh, I don't understand what's going on here. They want to take my key from the bike and I'm just like, grab the key quickly. So, um, because they also, they have no right to do that. Uh, so I just like grab the key quickly and just hold in my hands. Um, but I'm still pretending to not understand. So, and then he's still like, okay, one and a half million, one and a half million. And the other guy's getting angry. He's like, like almost yelling already. And we're like, ah, no idea, no idea. So I say to my friend something in German, like, uh, I can't remember, blah, blah, blah. I say, uh, was machen wir jetzt? Uh, weiterfahren? And he goes, and, and she goes, um, the only thing in German she knew and says, ich weiß nicht. So, which means I don't know. She didn't understand what I was saying. But it sounded like we had a conversation in, in a different language here. So it made it actually more real just, you know, um, for the policemen. So maybe they were like, oh, fuck, okay, they don't speak English. And this, I'm still again like, no English, ah, city, city over there, over there. And anyways, and the other guy already like, one million. And he keeps going down with the price. The other guy is still getting more angry. 15, 20 minutes later... <laughs> the angry guy goes okay okay you go go you go you go you go and i'm also then you can't break your role like so the character so i'm like i don't understand i don't uh, what, what what he like and then he makes the the gesture of like fuck off and i'm like okay and i make like the driving gesture and he's like go go i'm like okay and then he says but next time i see you and something wrong i jail you and I also didn't understand that, uh, obviously. Uh, so we drive away and we just laughed so hard. Oh, it was the best thing ever. It really made my day then. Because that's the cool thing. It's like corrupt. But I call it like, it's like an honest corruption. You know, like it's corrupt, but you can still bargain with them. You know, and if you, if you annoying enough, they're going to let you go. Um, because... The next person they stop is maybe gonna pay it straight away because they don't know maybe they get like a tourist who's just been just come to bali for the first time and uh yep you know and they may be scared and and just go like ah oh, fuck it okay i'll pay a hundred bucks and the policeman goes you and uh you know they just have a party because another time oh man like oh so many police stories here actually because another time there was <laughs> was driving with um i was working in bali for a dive shop and we drive up to to Ben to the north of bali and it's like a, it was like a two and a half hours drive we used to do like twice a day or uh, twice a week or whatever and just as you drive like if, as we're close to getting there there was a, a spot where the, the police would be um sometimes in the morning I have customers in the back and the a policeman stops me. I pull down the window <clears throat> and he's like, okay, yeah, license. Uh, well. And I didn't have my license with me, which I maybe no, no, no I, I didn't have one at the time. I think we applied for one already, but it took a few days. I'm not sure anyways, but most of the time you don't get stopped. Or you know when to not drive uh, certain roads and to to get past the police, you know. So most of the time, uh, you you're good without a license, or you just like bolt past them. Anyways, this time they stopped me. I can't just do that because uh, they have people in the car, like customers for diving in the car and stuff. So he's like, okay, license. I'm like, ah, I can't find it. Can't find all oh, the papers. Can't find it. And then so I call my boss. Because also the registration for the car, I'm like, where is it? And it's in like the 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 key has like a keychain has like a thing on it, and it's inside there. And I didn't know. Anyway, so he, as soon as I'm gonna go like, oh, I can't find the license. He reaches through the window and wants to take my key, and I'm like, no, 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 no. So like, take the key. He's like, what are you trying to do here? Just like, what are you trying to do? Yeah, you can't take my key. Yeah. Um, so I call my boss and I'm like, ah, listen, we got stopped here. Don't have the license. So 
I don't, and he wants 250,000, which is still too much, you know, which is 25 bucks or whatever. And the guy is generally like nice. Yeah, but he just wants his money. So I call my boss and he says, oh, here, okay, just tell them 100,000 rupiah or write the ticket and then you pay it in court. So I go like, uh, how much is it? 250? Okay, my boss says 100,000 or write the ticket. And immediately the guy goes, um, 150? <laughs> so I knew, ah, okay, cool, I got it. Um, so it's like, nah, sorry, like 100,000, that's all you're gonna get. So all the ticket, but he doesn't wanna write a ticket because then he has to do paperwork and he's not gonna get any money for that. Um, because I'm not gonna give him cash because I have to pay it in court. And he doesn't know if I'm gonna show up and that all that shit. So he's like, yeah, okay, 100, 100 then. And he was like, okay, here you go. Enjoy your beer for that and with that. And his friend in the background is like, okay, thank you. Like super nice, you know, that they got some money. It's like, oh, okay, fuck it. So get back, drive. Two days later, my license, I have my license now with me. We drive up, same way, same spot, same policeman stops me. I put down the window, he's like, Hey, how are you? Yeah, all good, what's going on? He's like, yeah, license. I'm like, yo, got it right here. So I give him the license. He's like, yeah, good. This one, you know, international license you can use in the Philippines, you can use it, you can use in all these countries. Woo, he high fives me and he's going, cool, see you later. And that's it. Fucking hell, like, I can't imagine, like, any other place where you just high-five a police officer. Man, I think the Americans should, like, really uh, look into this a bit more, huh? They have a lot of shit going on over there. Mm. At least I have to make fun of the Americans once per episode, no? Guys, I'm already talking for an hour already again. And I'm getting really fucking hungry. Right now, because I haven't had breakfast, it's 11.30 in the morning already. And my stomach is just raging right now. But I had a lot of fun talking about stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned. Uh, go on Instagram. What's the name? The fucking name? Uh, Living in the drain pipe on Instagram, follow that if you want uh, updates about when I put stuff on YouTube or like do the YouTube thing, whatever you need, like the following and the whatever they do. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, tune in for another episode and uh, maybe tomorrow, whenever I'll figure out how to upload this shit. But um, yeah, see you later. Living in the jam fight. I think that was too loud for the microphone. <laughs> <laughs>